יוי מאמן שם יש לו יקר כבי רבה, לא יודע לשפוך בכל רוי, איש מריס אפשכו, עד יונו איש מציס רוי, יכול מעט טוב יד או אילום, my friends take some coins, put it in the push, and together we will merit the imminent coming of Moshiach. Maybe I should just make a brief statement. The reason why you see this background here, it is simply because my studio is being used for guests in the house. So therefore, I'm relegated to go outside on the porch and do the recording over here. So don't be jealous. No, I'm not in the country. I'm not in vacation. Let us discuss one of the chambers of the Beis Hamikdash. One of them was called Lishkas or Eitzim, the Chamber of Wood. What was this all about? That was the chamber where the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, the week before Yom Kippur, where he would have to prepare himself for the important, most important services in the Holy of Holies, so that week he would live in this room. And it was called Lishkas or Eitzim, the Lishka, the chamber of the wood. I don't want to discuss now, does it mean that it was built of wood, uh, or did it store wood? Because building a Besamikdash of wood is a whole issue, not supposed to. That's a subject for itself. But just like stick, let's stick to the name. This room, this chamber, later on had another name. And it was called Lishkas Parhedrin. Not Sanhedrin, Parhedrin. Parhedrin is a Greek word for officers of the king. The reason why this room was then called Parhedrin, why the name was changed from Lishkas or Eitzim to Lishkas Parhedrin, because what happened was the following. The position of the high priest was a very exalted position. To be the high priest, one had to be la creme de la creme, so to say, of the Kohanim. The purest of the purest. Unfortunately, in the latter part of the second temple, it was up for grabs. It was sold to the highest bidder. And Kohanim, who were able to afford it, would come and buy this position. The problem with it was that it was a very temporary one. Because you might remember that the Torah says if anyone would enter the Holy of Holies, Vahazor HaKorev Yumas, a stranger, somebody who doesn't belong there, would enter in the Kodesh HaKadoshim, in the Holy of Holies, would die. And this is what happened to them. On Yom Kippur, they would die in the Kodesh HaKadoshim, and there went their glorified position. Since they lasted no more than 12 months, that was the system apparently then, with the offices of the king, they only lasted for 12 months, every 12 months they were changed, so this is why it was called Parhedri. But one asks a question, is it logical for a person to pay obviously the highest price, for an honor that he knows is going to cost him his life? I mean, there is a limit to how foolish somebody could live in a false image of himself. So listen how the Rebbe explains this. The Rebbe, the consummate, positive take on everything. And he quotes his father. And he explains the difference why it was called Lishkas or Eitzim or Lishkas Panhedrin. Eitz also means a tree, not just wood. A tree represents permanency. We can have trees that are standing for hundreds and maybe even thousands of years. So this represented a period of time where the Kohen God was like a tree, established, worthy. Year by year after year and after year, this Koyen merited to be who he was. And he survived and he lived. Unfortunately, later on, was Parhedrin was a temporary 12-month position. But you can ask the question, as we just did before, why would anybody want it? So the Rebbe explains. These people, these Kohenim, they were willing to sacrifice their lives for the opportunity to be able to have that blissful moment of godly revelation, of unification. That's the chamber where the oneness of God was revealed on Yom Kippur. 
the one time a year, which represents the oneness of the Neshama. They were willing to give away their soul to have that experience. I, sh I should say, not give away their soul, but give away their lives for be able to have this complete and total unification, oneness with Hashem. So it wasn't about honor. It was about quest of reaching such a high level that unfortunately they didn't deserve. But Eivishter, now all of us deserve already the Beis HaMikdosh. I'm not talking about the Kodesh HaKadoshim, but the Holy Temple we deserve for you to bring it down in this world now.